Peladron quick setup and installation guide. This is what you actually get with the Peladron itself. So this is the control, this is the sky control and I definitely recommend this because it gives you all the ability for you to fly and you can put a tablet here or a smartphone but you are required to have this otherwise you won't be able to operate this yourself so what i actually use is my smartphone the reason for that is quite simple with the smartphone itself you can go and use this but because you need a wi-fi connection my ipad which it doesn't have a wi-fi connection it's not going to work so i have to use a smartphone which is much smaller than uh, an ipad but still it still gives you plenty of view and you can see everything unless you are uh, pretty old and you can't see an iPhone and that screen is too small for you otherwise it's gonna work just fine so here are the controls here most of the controls you really need to know is the one that moves the drone up or down and the second one that moves it sideways it's a little bit hard to get a handle of it initially so I suggest you practice but not at home you have to find an open field to practice otherwise you're really going to mess up and if you crash this at home you're going to most likely break it versus outside and in a grassy area which you're not so the quick way to get this started and set up this is what you have here first thing I suggest for you to do is to get the battery in and plug it in make sure you put the right connector in here and you just charge it. it takes about I think about like 20 minutes or so to charge it charges pretty quick and make sure you put it in securely so there's gonna be a light right here and it's gonna be red until it gets green when it gets green that's it you're done after this you take the battery itself and you just shift it like this and you push it in until you hear like a small snap and that's gonna be uh, when it gets inside so if you didn't hear the snap it means you didn't stick it in you don't even have to have two hands to do this you can do it with one hand but it's much harder so you just push it in until you get it all the way in there the next thing you need to know is this right, right here there is a small little thing that goes all the way up or down so once you snap it in and it's securely in though and this is not yet securely in though uh, this button is going to be pushed up and that means it is secured if it's not secured you won't be able to actually go and take pictures and the worst thing about this if it's going to fall in the air this whole drone is just gonna get destroyed so that's the sound you want to hear so after you push it in now next thing you want to do is to get into your smartphone and you have to download two different programs in there. let me go into my smartphone and actually show you what we got here so we have a few different programs here that you have to have and one of them that I used was the free flight free that you can get and the bebop control so both of those are very important for you to have and it depends which one you want to use but I kind of use both of them to actually mend my craft now before you go and do this before you can even do this you have to set up your Wi-Fi connection in your settings now before you can even do that the funny thing is you gotta turn the units on so we're gonna actually turn the units on first and then we're gonna go and show you how to keep going with the rest so the first thing you have to do to get this actually flight uh, started is to of course take the sky control and put the battery right inside so we're gonna be putting the battery right in here you have to align it in push it in until you hear the snap button so now it's in now the first thing I highly suggest for you to do is to turn it on and there is a small button right here so we are turning it on and all the switches right here are going to turn on soon so we turn this on which was the number one thing to turn on now we have to turn on the drone itself so let's press on the button right here you have to press on it until you hear the sound okay, now it's on so we turn the, the drone on and now it calibrated itself the next thing what we did what we do is go into the 
camera itself so this is my so the next thing that we do we are going right into my phone so we are waiting for first thing we're waiting is for this to turn all white all of those have to be white first so the battery this shows you how much charge we have there was only two of them charged which is not enough here so that means this battery should be charged all the way you want to have this all the way up here so this battery needs charging the receiver is good and the drone itself it found it it's good as well so the next thing we have to do since we already have everything else going is to log into the network itself so we are going into the network itself and this is the tricky part there's a lot of people don't know how to do this it took me a while to figure this out so in your phone you're going into settings now it makes a lot of noise that means it's it actually has a fan here right under here that it's cooling it itself off that's that's the noise it's actually making and it's totally fine that's how it's supposed to be working so let me go back and show you how it's done here so let's go into setting after you go into setting you go and press on Wi-Fi in Wi-Fi itself this is very very important that you go into the right kind of setting there's two different settings that you can go into one of them is the bebop itself you can go straight to the bebop now if you go straight to the bebop it means you don't need the sky control you can actually operate this totally with the phone but we are not going to do this we want to operate it with the sky control so we are pressing on the sky control right here and by pressing it on it once it goes all the way up here now we are waiting for it to connect as you can see there is the thing the check mark that shows it connected which is good now we have to go straight into the place where we have all the drone applications so we are going into the free flight free and that's one of them and wait me later and here is the most important thing all the way on the top as you can see there is this button right there you press on it once and now you can set everything you want in here so all the way in the settings you can go and set what you want in here but this is not the way for you to actually fly this is just to get a lot of different things in here you could fly using some of those different settings here but I am not really comfortable with this menu as much but some of those settings are pretty interesting so right here you can actually go into the map itself and you can press on preload the map and when you preload the map you can use it to fly which is kind of cool too so let's get out of here so there is the drone academy where you can learn about drones you can discover drones there is a health and there is the flight plan that you have to purchase if you want to actually set this thing to follow you or all kinds of other neat little things but we are not going to do this we just want to you know fly this right away so let's go to the beam control I'm pressing on that and now this is the one you want beam control when we're in the beam control it says select drone you're pressing on the sky control right here and then it goes straight to the sky control itself so now it views whatever is on the camera but something is not working as you can see the network is not available right here and now it is because now it shows me everything that is going on with uh, itself so now we can actually see what it sees right on the bottom here the screen is not that good I think it's because of the indoor Wi-Fi connection but technically right now I can actually turn this on and start flying which I don't want to do because it's indoors right now but we're gonna go outdoors I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna actually fly this with this sky control right here so here is the drone itself it's already ready to operate and all we have to do is to press on this button right there which is gonna be the takeoff button and then I can use the big controls here and start to man and operate this now one more thing that I want to actually tell you let me turn this off so you have to press on it and just wait until it's gonna turn off 
because it's making a lot of noise here. So it's confusing. <laughs> so if you have to really turn this off and it doesn't want to turn off like this, all you have to do is to yank it out. So let's go yank the battery out and that definitely solves this problem. So now it shows me that the receiver is off and the drone itself is off. The battery is only two star, but that's enough because you can fly on 10 to 12 minutes with this battery just like this, which we're gonna actually do next. And before do you do this, here's a very important thing. You gotta use this um, for your neck because this thing is like really heavy, so you have to attach it to this eventually and it's pretty cool. Now, a few other things here. First off, right there, as you can see, this is the antenna. Now, don't play around too much with this because eventually it's going to loosen itself out. So, there's this knob over there that you go and you can move this any way you want, but it's it doesn't do much and you're just going to break it eventually if you play with it too much. It, it is plastic and this knob is not really that uh, flimsy here. So, here is the knob itself, right there. Second knob right there is this one, and this is very important knob right here. This knob is going to go and control your tablet. So if you have a big tablet, not like an iPhone itself, which this thing is not that good for it. So if you have a tablet, you want to move this up or down enough so you can secure it in here, which I can actually show you a little bit later. Now, lastly, this is the most important thing. After you're done and everything is finished and you want to upload everything, here's a few things you have to do. This is very simple to upload, but some people don't get it. So what you have to do is get this cable. This is USB cable. Take this part right here. And there's going to be a small plug right there. All you have to do is just plug it in and then plug it to your computer. But the biggest mistake people do is they don't plug the battery all the way in and they forget to turn this on. If this device is not on, it's not going to transfer any pictures. So you must have this device on and then plug this in into the computer and then you'll be able to download pictures from it. So the next thing we're going to be doing is going outside and I will show you a little bit more on how to fly this. So before we go outdoors, I decided to use an actual tablet and to show you how it actually looks like when you put a real tablet into this. So when you put this in, like some people have protective device like I do, it still goes in here. You can actually move it enough for you to stick it in. So now all you have to do is to push it in here and that's it. It's pretty secure, really. Like look, it's not even falling off, which is kind of cool. Now, another thing that you can actually use, and they actually come with it, is this protection screen right here. And when you allow those, there's going to be a lot of sun. So you can put this in like that, and you can still see everything that's going on here, and it's still protecting it. Now, there is those two uh, things here that is, this is not built for this way. So you don't just like put it on top of it, because then it kind of like cuts your viewpoint. So what you want to do is first off take this off and then now you're putting it in here first and after you put it in that's when you put your drone not drone you put your iPad right inside and you push it in here and it's still gonna be secure so now it's kind of cool because if you're gonna go outdoors now you can go like this and you can actually close it so it kind of protects it from the sun, but it's not a very good protection because you don't want to leave your iPad outdoors in direct sunlight. This is a big warning for people who never know about this. If you're going to leave your iPad inside the vehicle and it's going to be pretty hot, very, very bad idea. So don't do this because you don't want to ruin your expensive iPad, which is also going to be your control pad. Plus, you have to have Wi-Fi connection on your iPad, which you have to pay an extra, I, can, I think it's like 10 to 20 bucks extra fee. I'm, I'm not sure. It all depends on your plan. So my plan does not cover the iPad. It doesn't have a Wi-Fi connection because uh, it just doesn't. So if I want to do this, I have to use my iPhone. 
and you can use any kind of device and you have to figure out if your device is actually has a Wi-Fi connection that you can use outside so if you have a phone that's enough for you to have an, a Wi-Fi connection to it now with an iPad itself this does have a Wi-Fi connection in there but I'm not paying for it which means that uh, I have to have a place such as like my home that has a Wi-Fi in it or go to like a place that has some Wi-Fi connection to it that you can actually use but here is the big problem since this is operating on Wi-Fi you, you need to get into some kind of a network for this to operate so let, let's go and show you how this actually goes with this one so let's go in here go into the palette itself and allow and so this one shows you how to take a tour this is actually the wrong program let's get out of here and don't allow okay so we wanted to go into this one this is my favorite program so sorry about that so now it says that nothing is actually found so we're going to be seeing if we can operate this outside with this particular big ipad first so let's turn this on, Put the battery, slide it in, turning it on, same thing here, we're waiting for this to turn on. The first thing we have to do is to of course get the Wi-Fi going on my fo phone itself, not my phone, on my um, iPad device. So let's get into the setting. It's loading up. Pressing on Wi Fi. And here is the sky control right here. So we're getting in there. We got the sky control in. which is good you know, we are all set with that now all we have to do is to go over my drones is right here beep up control and now just make sure you press on sky control you're waiting for it to connect it just disconnected itself we'll try it again so now something is not working here as you can see it keeps on disconnecting so that could happen too. The, so the reason for that, I believe it's disconnecting is because I already am connected in here with a second network, which means I got my phone in. I'm already connected right there. So I can't be connected with two different devices. devices. <laughs> so that's what I have to do. I have to get out of it. And now we're going to be trying to get in. And there we go. I got out. So now we have this all set. All I have to do is just to press on the lift off right here, which I'm not daring to press because I'm indoors right now. So next we are gonna go outdoors and test this baby out. So I moved it outside, but here is what happened here. It says emergency cutout, which means it can't signal it. And it decided to cut off any way for this to talk to it. And when this happens, the drone just automatically runs wherever it goes, like the home button itself. So what you want to do is, of course, to go and and use something else. So this is not really reliable. And here is the home button right here. So you can just press on the home button and the drone, whatever it is, it's going to try to attempt to go back to its house. So let's get back outside and get started with this. So we are now outdoors and we are ready to actually fly this. I put this in a place that has uh, an ability for it to fly. So the propellers are free to fly this item. But here is the only problem with this. It's not going to be able to land here and it can land anywhere it wants in the grass area. So the next thing we're going to be doing is flying the drone itself. So I'm going to go the distance a little bit because you don't want to be too close to this uh, drone itself because you're going to get you know hot because this thing is a little bit dangerous it's not as dangerous as some other drones but still you want to have some distance between you and the drone itself so we are going to go back 
a little bit now this could be a little bit too far but that's okay because it will still reach it I just want to find an area in the shade so I can pilot this drone so here it is I went far enough plus you guys can actually see this so this is the control itself now it's showing me the control right here and everything is kind of ready for takeoff right here there's the takeoff button and here is the most important thing before you go about and fly the drone this right here is what you want to press on this is what's going to get you to record this it shows you the battery itself this is the drone battery inside the drone and that's 97 percent full on the other hand the battery in the control there's only two right here and that's that's okay it still will get us going there is nine different satellites that are powering it up right now the height of the drone itself it says 29 feet i'm not sure what this actually means because it's not even that high off the ground it's only like like less than a foot maybe even less than that and there was all kinds of other neat little things here here is the camera so you press on the camera itself and you press on it once it's going to take a picture of it this is the video camera you press on it and it starts taking videos that's the important one that's the one you want to use so if you're going to be flying you want to use the video camera and sometimes you forget to do this and the whole footage or the fun of it is going to be not there because you haven't actually started it so let's get the fun going so here is the drone right there far away press on takeoff right here you can hear the sound it is it's taking off so it's just hovering right there over the ground because I pressed on takeoff and now we want to get everything else going here so we're looking at the control itself here pressing on the video feed so it's now has to record from some unknown reason this drone is not doing what it's supposed to be doing so it's I don't know if it's recording it or not but I don't I don't see it going but now we're gonna just pilot the drone itself so we're gonna move it forward move it back now we're gonna move it down up so now we got it all set we actually had to quit the application and put it back in for it to actually show the menu so now we can actually see what it actually sees the drone itself all we have to do now is press on the record now we're going to be taking off and we can actually see each other soon so let's press on that it's taking off right now and i will try to fly it as close as i can here it is can't really see it that well so i'm, I'm gonna try to get it up here move it as close as we can in here i'm trying to zoom in now and you're going to be moving it closer here Okay, it's too close. Oops. It's really hard to fly this very so close to the ground. But I'm trying. Wow, way too close. You can see it right now. It's the drone itself right over me. You can see it right now. I have to move out of there way too close. 